Hi guys, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having, I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. It's a bright and beautiful day today guys. I hope you're enjoying it wherever you are. Yes guys, I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. I was asked about stevia and also agave but I'm doing stevia in this video why are some people saying bad things about stevia some people have good things to say about stevia bad things to say about stevia I'll give you my two cents um, where it concerns concerns stevia now stevia is from the plant known scientifically as stevia ribodiana and this is a plant that grows wild in some places such as paraguay and brazil and of course in other places of the world and it has been used for a long time you know many native people use stevia have used stevia stevia um you know yeah it's a big thing now but stevia has been around for like a long 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 time as you can imagine as with many of the plants here um plants so this is a plant that has been used for a long time stevia is said to be i think it's 10 to 15 times sweeter than table sugar the problem with stevia is that the stevia that many um, people will buy and you know that are being offered on the market is so far removed from the actual plant that I don't even think it's fair to call these things stevia now there are two glycosides um, in stevia that are particularly responsible for that sweet taste the stevia side and the ribodia side these are the components the chemical components that are you know responsible for that sweetness and what many manufacturers have done is that they have sought to isolate these particular elements and so they have extracted they have sought to extract them and highly processed um, so it's a highly um, processed um, thing that they are that they are doing to extract the stevia from these um, glyphosides from the stevia plant itself and usually you know in the extraction they use in some cases um, chemicals that have no business in the human body so we are looking at stevia in the case now where they have taken the plant as a whole and they are extracting certain components from it and it is these components that you are sold as a sweetener and you know many people are looking for that option and looking to get away from the table sugar and want healthier options they see this as you know what i could try this this is from a plant this is healthy and and so forth this is you know and because they're sold it they're sold this idea that stevia that stevia is healthy and it is not healthy the thing is when na nature provides things in a package for us and we are of this belief that we can extract components from it and use those components and we don't pay a price we pay the price with our health these are not healthy products you see on the market those white powdery stuff that they are selling you and telling you that it's healthy it's not healthy these are not healthy options highly processed these are um, chemical extractions just parts of the plants being taken out 
and being you know filters are added they add all kinds of filters to to the product in in um, some of the manufacturers do and they sell you this and this is supposed to be something good and that is the problem um, with with stevia and it's not just stevia it's a problem with a number of plants in that what they do is that they try to extract particular particular components from the plants and you know add or subtract to it and present and, and patent it and give you and say oh this is my brand this is so good and none of what they give you cannot trump what na nature gave you in the first place you know it's like black seed black seed is nigella sativa is responsible um for you know um addressing so many health concerns and you know what they do what what do they focus on they don't really care about nigella sativa in and of itself as a whole component they care about the thymoquinone from the nigella sativa because they can extract that that's the active component and they can extract that and do whatever they want to do with it and patent it and say this is my product but nigella sativa it's in and of itself is nature's product you can't patent it and that is the same thing with stevia so if you want a sweetener if you want to use stevia as a sweetener guys here's what you do you buy the leaves you buy the actual leaves the real real leaves and you grind them yourself or ground them yourself or you buy grounded stevia leaves of course make sure that you're getting from you know reliable good sources and you use that if you want the sweetener or you grow the plant yourself grow it on your tabletop in your backyard or anywhere in your house that you might be able to you know um, have it grow it and then you pick a leaf or two whenever you need it but these products that they have on the market unless it is the pure leaf itself no fillers added because that's the other thing you know I recently did a video on fillers uh, uh, for herbal products I I'm not sure what I did with that video I've, done, I've shot shot so many videos that you guys probably have not seen but seriously speaking you know this thing about having all these fillers and these things to product you don't need that if you want stevia buy the pure leaf itself you know don't buy those things that they are giving you on the market those toxic things because that's what they are i mean they're not healthy they are not healthy they are no good for you and you sold them and they tell people these are better than table sugar and because your 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 um, doctor or your your dietitian might tell you that it's good people actually believe that it's good and people believe that it's good for them you know and I know some people might not want to hear me they're probably what do you know you're not a doctor or a nutrition or whatever but from what I observe I have observed from looking at the evidence that's available and even some of my personal experience you use it as nature gave it to you and in proportion as it is acceptable to the body but these highly processed um, things and where they have extracted particular elements of a plant and are given to you this um, to you as food you know think twice about consuming those things it has no place in the body and a lot of the stevia products that are actually on the market has no place in your body and they are no better than table sugar so that's my two cents on stevia and guys it's a bright and beautiful day as i noted make sure you go out and get some sun let the sun seep through you 
you know, I'm going to head out now, get some, you know, get some sun. I can't miss this kind of opportunities, especially people who live in, you know, you know, like North America and places like um, Europe and, you know, just the colder, um, where you've got colder climates and for um, a good part of the year, you don't get the sun as much. It's good to take advantage of the sun. We all need the sun. Every single one of us that walk this earth needs the sun to some degree. You know, but the darker you are, the more, you know, you need to stay in the sun a little bit longer. Uh, uh, because this kind of climate is not... This, we were never meant to be in this kind of climate. We may live in this kind of climate for various reasons, but it's, we were never meant to be in this kind of climate. So just remember, get some sun, man. Get some sun. Even if it's five minutes, you know, on your lunch break or whatever, and you go and walk and, abs you know, absorb a little bit of the sun. And so that's my two cents on stevia and encouraging you to get some of the sun, which I'm going to go and get some now. So guys, subscribe to my channel. Like guys, give me that thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up. Like and share my videos. Most of all guys, don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a... Fantabulous day today. Ta-ta.